Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Ford Torneo on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car you can see we've got the tow bar there, uh, reversing sensors and loads of uh, boot space here as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And as I mentioned, we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. Now that we've done a full circle of it though, firstly you can see the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the vehicle, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the center at the bottom, the fuel gauge and cool and temperature gauges. Above that, we have the main trip computer, which includes the total miles of 55,236. Uh, we have a trip computer. As you can see, you can change that information for various things. Uh, for example, the digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, we've got an audio menu, telephone settings and then back around to the beginning again and the buttons uh, to go through those menus are just here underneath that we have cruise control and speed limiter on the right hand side we have our stereo and phone controls over in the center is where you would pair up your phone in order that you can use it uh, press the phone button and then you would add phone from there uh, you can use this uh, button just here to do everything that you see up on the screen. So for example, if we will go to our uh, music options, uh, you've got Bluetooth audio. Uh, this car's got USB input as well. We have, of course, got the radio, DAB, uh, as you can see, AM and FM. And as I say, that dial will rotate to any of the things that you see up on the screen. So you've got your phone, uh, your own personal music, your radio, your volume, just here for the stereo as well. Below that, we have a storage tray. And then below that, we've got dual zone climate control. Uh, so you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine uh, what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, that's now your air conditioning turned on. Same button will turn it off again, of course, or hit auto. The car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you you can override that manually whenever you wish to. Along the bottom here, you can turn off the stop and start. This vehicle is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. You can also turn off your traction control. You can put the vehicle in eco mode. Um, also, I forgot to mention, it's got a heated front screen, along with, of course, the heated rear screen just there. We have got a six-speed manual gearbox. Down the bottom here, a 12-volt charging socket, your USB input, and then two cup holders as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. You can see we have a sun blind, which is closed at the moment. There is a button up here that will open that from, as you can see, the rear of the vehicle to the front. This section of glass is fixed in position, but as you'll see, it lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. The last thing I wanted to talk about is the paperwork we hold for the vehicle. So you can see the service book just there, the V5 registration document, of course. Uh, plenty of service receipts as well. Uh, in the envelope, just here, we have the spare key for the car. So two keys in total. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the vehicle for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.